Hey guys, for Shri Star here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Facebook Messenger app not working on your iPhone. Now, these methods can also work on an Android phone if you follow along similar steps. So let's get started. So if you're having issues with your Facebook Messenger, first thing to do is pull down the control menu here and put your phone on airplane mode briefly and turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh. So if there's a connectivity issue impacting your messenger not working it will fix that for you now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is simply close out the app and relaunch it so in order to do that on iphone simply swipe up and then you're going to close it out and while you're at it i recommend just closing out all the apps and then just relaunch it again and it could be simple as that and you might be back on to your messenger working for you now it's still not working for you the next thing you want to do is see if your storage needs to be cleared on your phone so sometimes if you have a full storage things like some apps don't work because it requires a certain level of storage in order to download the content so in your iPhone here you're going to go into your general of your settings and then iPhone storage and you want to see that you have storage available to you so here as you can see here I'm using 22 gig out of 128 gig which means I have 104 gig available so you want to make sure that you have enough storage available if you need to delete some stuff I recommend deleting longer videos some photos and apps so you can clear up some space and you can follow this recommendation but basically you want to have a couple gigs available so that the apps can all load correctly now after you have done that and you're still having issues it's time to go into the app store and see if there's an update available for your app so when you update your phone software for example i updated to ios 17 there might be an update for apps as well to be compatible with that version of the software so in order to update app on your iphone you simply go ahead and search for that app so here i'm going to search for messenger right once i search for it as you can see here this one i click on it and it says that there's an update available because there's an update button and I click on update here and wait for the update to happen in a scenario where it says open that means the app is already updated there's nothing to update but you want to go ahead and download that update so that it's compatible with the right version you can also see the version history tells you that the update is happening because the software there's a major software release and on iOS 17 so after you update it go ahead and open it up and hopefully it's working for you now let's say you did the update and it's still not working it's time to go ahead and do a force restart on your iPhone so in order to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and once it uh, goes black and the Apple logo reappear at that time you let go of that button so I'm going to do volume up or volume down and then I hold the side button just like this and I wait till the screen goes completely black and at that time I will wait for the Apple logo and let go of that button so you can see here it went completely black which is good and then the Apple logo should appear and then I let go of that one. again volume up and down has to be really quick if Siri activated that means you don't press volume up and down quick enough now this method just shuts down the phone completely reloads all of the code again so if it's a software issue impacting the apps from not working correctly it will fix the issue for you and this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be there or there will be no issues with that now after you have done that and let's say that the apple your messenger still is not working what can you do well the next thing you can do is uh, delete the app and reinstall it so in order to delete it you're going to press and hold right the app you're going to delete and then you click on remove app and then delete app and then as you can see here this will delete the app just the, the app itself this will not delete the actual content in the app so your message will all be there all you'll do after that is go to the app store again and then search for the messenger app one more time here I'm gonna search for messenger right and you search for it and you're gonna go ahead and get click on the get button so it can install click on that install and it will download again for you and after you download it hopefully it fixes any issues that you were having with the messenger app itself so here give it about maybe a minute or two should be pretty quick depending on your Wi-Fi make sure you're connected to good strong Wi-Fi or cellular data and once we are we are installed we'll see here we can close out of the app store i can go to the very last page under app library recently added i can press and hold then add to home screen and now i have the messenger app and hopefully it's working for you now if it's still not working it's time to go ahead into your setting of your iphone one more time and this time in your settings you're going to go to general go all the way down here it says transfer reset iphone 
you click on the first option to reset and the reset that we're going to do is the second option which is going to be a network reset which will take about a minute or two what this will do is remove any saved wi-fi password any bluetooth connected devices but it's important to do when it comes to troubleshooting the connectivity of your phone and apps not working again this will not delete your personal data so all of your photos videos apps and everything will still be there there won't be a problem with that and after you have done the install not working, the next thing to check is that if your phone needs to be updated again, let's say you updated, maybe there's another update available. If so, you're going to be in your settings, you're going to go to general software update and see if there's an update available for you. If your says iOS is up to date, you're up to date, you don't have to do anything. But if there's no update, it will say download and install. You want to download and install the update to hopefully fix any software related issue that you may be having. And let's say you did all of that and it simply doesn't work. The next thing to check is to make sure that Facebook service is working right now. Sometimes services have outages. So you want to go to your browser and search for, let's say, me Facebook Messenger status. So if you do a Facebook Messenger status or Google it, it'll show you if you're let's or down actually basically to see if the service is up or down sometimes if there's a global outage or outage in your area for example this down detector website also tells you as you can see your certain times if there's an outage going on you might have to just wait till f Facebook fixes that their messenger services and it might just have to wait it out for that and that's it for the video I hope your messenger is working now if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time